What's up everybody? Today's video is on how we made this DIY wall mounted yard tool organizer. This thing is a great project for fall. We got leaves falling, we got all sorts of cleanup that needs done, and we need our yard tools organized. This thing is a great little project because it's very sturdy and it can be mounted anywhere in your garage. And we're going to show you how to do it right now. All right, so we started by cutting down all our boards. This project was made with just three eight foot two by fours. We cut each piece to length and then we had to cut some pieces at an angle. Each of these dividers had a very slight five degree angle you can see here. It doesn't look like you're cutting off much, but it makes a big difference in the final product. Since the dividers had that angle, we also had to make the base the same angle. So we ran that through the table saw. This is gonna allow the front of the organizer to tilt forward for easier access to the tools. All right, so once everything was cut, it was time to drill our pocket holes. We turned to our trusty Craig 720 Pro pocket hole jig to make all of our holes. We love the Automax clamping system on this jig. It makes all of our pocket holes go really quickly and smoothly. And this project is sponsored by Craig Tool. You know we love Craig pocket hole joinery and their cutting solutions. Craig makes it very easy to build something like this and you can get the free plans to build one of these for yourself on our website thanks to Craig. All right, so you heard the man. At the end of the video, make sure you click down and get the free plans for this project. Our pocket holes were all drilled really quickly. 720 makes it easy to drill even at an angle and then we were ready to start building. We started out by assembling the two panels. One goes on the front and one goes on the back. These are held together with two pocket holes in each joint and they are solid and sturdy. Then we attach the base with pocket hole screws as well. You can see the angle there is on the front tilting out and when we attach these dividers next, we line up that angle at the top. The base is obviously more narrow than the dividers. That's what's gonna create that tilt out look at the end. We attach the second panel to it, including using the Craig 90 degree driver to attach in that tight angle there. And we're ready to attach it to the wall. We put a couple of screws straight through into the studs and it was solidly in place. Last thing to do is just add those yard tools. We separated things by class and it was ready to go. We're ready to go to do some yard work. All right, I hope you guys love this project and that you're gonna go organize your garage and your yard tools just like we did. So now it's time to get to work.